Hello there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego, California. And today, it's another custom gun day. Because here is one we're about to ship off to one of our lucky customers. It started life as a Glock 34 MOS. That's a Gen 4 34 MOS. And now think about the MOS, what that means. It's MOS is Modular Optic System. And that means that there's a plate on top of the slide in the rear there that is able to be removed by these two screws. Off comes the plate. And then with the MOS system, you get a, um, a pack of four different plates that have different holes drilled throughout them that accept different styles or manufacturers of the red dot optic. So the one plate will take the RMR, another, tape will, another plate will take a Burris or a Viper, another plate will take a, uh, a Seymour STS. Um, it's a pretty cool system. And so, this owner has elected to uh, kind of finish it like this, and at some point he'll probably take that plate off and go ahead and, and mount a, a red dot opti optic on there because the reason I say that is because he's got the um, suppressor sights installed. And the reason the suppressor sights are installed because they're taller than the standard sights. And because they're taller, that means they can co-witness, which means looking through the glass of the red dot optic, to be able to line up the front and rear sight just as you normally would, and also put the red dot right on top of that front sight. So it's a pretty cool system. It really is, really gonna be awesome. But let's look at this gun and see the things we've done. First of all, I'm gonna make sure the gun is unloaded. Magazine's unloaded, that's always a good thing. Pull the slide back, keep the finger off the trigger there real quickly, and check inside that barrel. It is empty. Pull the trigger in a safe direction, and now we can kind of talk about this freely. Remember, uh, when you are working with guns, cleaning guns, showing guns to your friends, uh, teaching people how to shoot. We always want to make sure we're working with an unloaded gun. And the other thing is that there are no loaded magazines in your proximity and no loose ammo in your proximity. And that way we know we're not going to have an accident. This being my training area, uh, my YouTube area, <laughs> there is no ammo in this room. And that's a good thing, right? Okay, so that said, let's go ahead and look at this thing. This is a sniper gray finish. And it's awesome. I mean, I love this color. Sniper Gray is a Cerakote. We've done both the frame and the slide. Notice, of course, the um, starburst stipple job there, which is really cool. I mean, just awesome. And we've gone ahead and accentuated the finger grooves and stippled a dot pattern into them. So when you get on this thing, you're on it. Your fingers are not going to slip around or move, even if you're sweaty, because of the uh, enunciated or uh, accentuated uh, finger grooves. It's got a, um, a Dawson Ice magwell on it, also been done in the Cerakote, the same Sniper Gray Cerakote. So it's kind of neat how we match up all the colors. Same thing on the slide, been done in the Sniper Gray Cerakote. Uh, this gun has a, um, a Sniper Gray and Silver theme. So we'll look over here, you'll notice that you have the uh, uh, Extended control kit and extended magazine release button. That's our teardrop button right there. All right. And, of course, that's the um, slide stop lever. Extended. That little piece is extended. Slide lock lever. And the pin set is also in the chrome or silver. Very nice, huh? And, of course, you'll notice our pyramid trigger with the silver and black motif. All right. There we go. Let's see if we can see that black a little bit better. There you go. Pretty cool. Storm Lake barrel, four ported to match up with the coffin cut in here and the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the Glock 34 slide. But it looks like we polished this barrel a little bit too. It looks a little bit shinier than normal. So we probably went in there and just did a light polish on that so it would kind of stick out. Uh, we went ahead and, and did our slide cuts. This is our Viper cut and uh, it's pretty darn awesome. This is a good looking gun and it's about to be shipped off. I wanted to make sure that I got a chance to look at it myself and I thought, well, let's just pop in the video because I had a couple other guns I was going to do and I said, we'll just do them all together. So this one is going to be shipped off today after I get this video done. This is about ready to go. Uh, the teardrop release is one of our larger releases that allows you to actually manipulate that button without adjusting your grip. That's really important, especially for competition shooters, because if you're trying to get some speed up there and you have to adjust your grip, then your accuracy will suffer as you come back to shoot again because your grip is not in the same place. So what's nice about this is I can get that, lock that grip in there and still manipulate that button, all right? 
boom, 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 and it's easy. So uh, because it reaches back so far, and because there's a little bit of leverage on the other, uh, the, the, the magazine button itself, I can actually access any point of this and it make the magazine fall out. So you'll see we also have our, um, our heavy uh, aluminum base plates on the bottom of these mags, also Cerakoted to match up with that Sniper Gray. And finally, last but not least, we did a little bit of custom engraving for our customer and their initials just so they don't forget that this is their gun. <laughs> so all that said is, uh, you know, the, the key is, is that we build custom Glocks and it's all about you and your, de your desire, what you want. So, you know, people look at our website, they see all the pictures, they see other guns in other places as well. And they say, hey, I like to do this, this and this and this. And we say, we can do it. No matter what you think, we can do uh, because we are really basically immersed in the building and uh, the um, uh, development of uh, custom parts, pieces, and builds for our customers nationwide. Uh, we have a machine shop here, and we did all these cuts ourselves right here in San Diego. And uh, then we, you know, have it Cerakoted for us, uh, and we uh, uh, do all the assembly, we do the test firing, and then we send it out. So that's kind of the process. So if you've got an idea, give us a call. You can go online, certainly, and look at some of our uh, previous work and some of the things we have done. And then we'll get you started and introduced to the world of custom Glocks. I'm Lenny McGill. This is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego, California. If you're ever in Southern California, I invite you to come down to the store. We're just about an hour drive from Orange County, hour and a half from uh, uh, Disneyland, if you're ever in that area, uh, two hours from Hollywood. So if you're ever up there, come on down here to the normal world and uh, we'll show you some cool things in our Glock Store and you'll have a place to shoot and a place to meet some new friends. Thanks for watching. I'm Lenny McGill and we will see you next time.